Hi, I'm Coleman from jackcenter.com, and I'm here today at the DevOps Con in Berlin, uh, together with Bethany Macri, uh, core platform engineer at Etsy, um, also our keynote speaker at the conference. Um, Bethany, first of all, I noticed uh, on your laptop you've got the uh, Etsy insignia, um, and your uh, your house words, uh, so to speak, with the uh, is that code is craft. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what that means at Etsy? I think we view code as craft in that it's something that we practice and try constantly to improve on. That sort of fits into our engineering culture of constantly iterating and um, pushing in small increments. We practice continuous deployment. And when you do continuous uh, deployment or continuous integration, your pushes are not a release. So you push and then a small change and then you iterate on that. And similarly, the way we approach writing code as engineers um, is that we're constantly trying to improve on our skills. Another way that we view code as craft, I believe, is that Etsy will um, mentor more junior engineers and more senior engineers will kind of take it upon themselves to bring more junior engineers um, along. And that follows sort of the apprenticeship model. So in that way, we're also practicing code as a craft. Okay, great. Um, and so another thing you mentioned uh, during your uh, keynote was that you've managed to somehow avoid the cover your ass methodology uh, and uh, introduce some kind of a, a blameless society at Etsy. So how exactly do you do that? I think um, cover your ass engineering or um, really in any, in any practice, in any industry, that comes from fear of making a mistake and being caught and ultimately losing your job. And the way that we've avoided that at Etsy is we celebrate failure as a way um, of making us better. So that enables honesty. When you fail, you're able to be honest about it and you are actually encouraged to be honest about it so that the entire organization can learn from the mistake and make the complex system safer. Mm -hmm. okay, great. So you were talking about Etsy as a very metrics-driven company. Um, and also that you've been moving away now from Postgres to MySQL. Um, and it's been a major project for you for the past couple of years, I believe. And um, so first of all, maybe you can tell us a little bit what, what are the disadvantages to you for Postgres? Um, where has that not worked? Postgres for us was uh, a single point of failure. Um, while we failed over to the secondary, we were experiencing downtime. So that was one issue. Another huge issue for us um, that really is also a cultural antipattern in terms of our engineering culture is that um, Postgres had stored procedures in it. Uh, we had stored procedures in the Postgres schema and we could not easily um, hack on those or deploy them. And we practice continuous integration. We push about 35 times daily. So we are used to being able to alter pieces of code quickly and pushing them out you know, multiple times a day if, if necessary. So stored procedures were not um, working well in that environment at all for us. OK. And on the flip side, then, what were the advantages to MySQL? So MySQL, uh, the advantages are we have automatic fail failover. We have replicants. Um, so we experience no downtime when one side goes down. Another um, advantage of that is we have seamless schema changes. So we can take one side um, or one replicant out, apply the schema change to that side, put it back in, and do the same for the other side. And lastly, we've built an in-house ORM for MySQL that allows us to iterate on um, methods in the ORM that uh, translate into statements made on the MySQL, we call them shards. Um, so that, that's our um, solution and our counter to the stored procedures in the Postgres schema. Great. Bethany, thank you very much for your time. Good luck with the migration to MySQL. Thank you. And thank you all for watching.